You think this, you think this Kubota can put our boat in the water? Yeah. Think so? We're gonna yeah. find out, huh? Well, what's up guys this is Daniel from Arms Family Homestead and as you can see we uh, had the most interesting time putting the boat in the water I think I've ever had so we've had a ton of rain we told you guys a while back we had five inches of rain in one night and the lake is way up so a friend of mine said hey the fish are biting great over here but you can't get your truck to my little ramp to put it in so he just so happened to have a Great Plains Kubota side by side how convenient right put her down in the water back this out no problem so hopefully we're gonna get out here catch a bunch of white bass maybe some crappie and he also said that the carp are spawning so we brought some some uh, bow fishing gear maybe shoot a carp I don't know we'll see you think you'll catch any fish today I sure hope yes. so yes yes we aren't going through all that work for nothing I'm not a good fisherman I'm a good catcher catcherman I'm a catcherman good, I'm, I'm a good catcherman oh my gosh Woo! Yeah. Yep. Look at that. You know what I call that? What? A Whoop. future fried fish. Ma, can we keep it? Yeah, we can keep it. Look, Houston catches one fish on that side of the boat. And these girls. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. This is scary. Let's see what you got. Oh my god. It's so cold. Are you not gonna fish seriously, Lisa? I won't. Is it chilly? Yeah! Really? But I blew this up for a reason and I don't want to waste all my breath. Houston, are you getting in? No, just stop it. Yeah, it's okay. Oh, you got a crappie. Oh, yeah. Probably not a big enough crappie to keep, but we can check. So they have to be 10 inches long. Get it? Yep. Probably not a keeper crappie. But it's a crappie. It is a crappie. It's a fish. I don't care. This is a big one. Oh, yeah. Flip him up here. Woo. Dang, you know what you need? A fish lap. Yeah. Ow, the hook. The hook didn't get you. The fish got you. Looks like uh, somebody might be eating fish for supper tonight. Yeah. I don't know. I don't have any plans. Do you, Mom? Nope. I was hoping fish. All right, Houston, now that you're out of the water, let's put that fish in the live well, bud. Hey. I expect you to fill that up. I don't want any any space for water. Let's just fill it up. Hey. Got it. And don't stomp on the door. Why? Because it scares the fish. Everyone's officially abandoned ship because uh, I caught like seven fish. Not on camera, but we found this little pocket over here. And it's just stacked full of white bass. They're trying to go spawn. They think they're going up a creek. Maybe we should go find a creek. You know, because we're like creek landers. Yeah. A lot better than we are on the lake, huh? Well, we can drive up the creek. We will. But hey, I was once told something. Oh, yeah? If you're catching fish, don't leave, don't leave to go catch more fish. Exactly. Just stay where you're at. So we're going to try it here first. Oh, do I have a fish? Oh, I have a fish. 
Hey, <laughs> if you got a fish, why don't you reel him in? Yeah. Shh. I didn't know you were videoing, you jerk. You just said, I'm not catching anything on this lure. Like, oh, you got oh, a drum. I had a bite. Seriously. Oh. Did you take your. Yeah. Something just nailed it. Yo. What is that? I got an ugly fish. You got a drum. That is an ugly fish. That's a drum. Can we keep it? Mom got a drum. That is not eatable. And I lost my jig. Oh, got one. Here. Here, here. Oh, they went everywhere. Oh, that's nice. Hee hee hee, supper. Yeah, I'd like to get some supper. Feelish tonight. Feelish tonight. We get the fish. Fish. Fish, 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 fish. Right after symbol one. That is out fishing y'all pretty bad. I don't know what the deal is here. I don't know either. It's making me mad. Oh, that's a good one. Mm. That's a nice one. Hey, I've caught a few. Hey, why don't you just leave that live well open for me? That's funny. That is a big one. Hey, I've caught a few, okay? So, one dad gave you. What? One dad gave you. Here, Mom. You want to reel my fish in? Come on. No. I'm trying to help you out. No. You don't want to fish? A bunch of crap. Small one. Yeah, he's pretty little. We ain't keeping him. I guess you got to swim to the bank. So glad you're catching the fish. Well, Finally! Is it your little one you threw back? <laughs> yeah, you definitely got a dinky one. I don't care. I don't care. It oh. doesn't look too bad. It's not too small. I mean, it's your only one. We're keeping it. Sounds great. Of course you did. I can come out here to not catch fish. Yeah. Well. That is a nice looking sandbag. At least one of us is. Yeah. Mom wanted to know what my uh, lucky lure was earlier. What was the deal? Why couldn't she catch any? And uh, I've been using all I've, of them. I've caught them on every lure I've thrown, but the two that have done me the best were some hand tied jigs that a friend gave me the other day. Actually, the same friend that backed us into the water a while ago <laughs> with the Kubota. It's going to be interesting trying to get us out of here, though. Yeah. Look how that's going to work. Very carefully. Alligator. By the way, today we've seen like three snakes in the water. Haven't we, Dad? Yeah. One looks like... a lot of them in the creek. One of them we saw... It looks like it was a copperhead. Yeah. They're all just in water. Ooh, there's a big carp right there. Yeah. That's a big one. Is it? No. But he'll eat. <laughs> I'm not being picky today. Houston, why don't you catch something? I can't. It's hard. I'm not like my dad. He's a professional. Is right. he? I don't know about hey, it. I, I technically, I guess you could say, I get paid oh, to catch fish on TV. Because <laughs> I keep catching these fish on our show, <laughs> which it's just YouTube. But I mean, technically, I'm getting paid to do this, right? Mm -hmm. Does that make me a professional? No. Just a, just a well-paid amateur? <laughs> Whack. Fish lap. <laughs> hey, if you'll just cast straight out there in the middle of the creek. I'm dead, I am. I caught two in a row out there. I'm going to put this camera down. Okay, put the camera down. I'm sure I won't catch anything. We caught like four in a row here. <laughs> Yep, because I'm a moderately well pro-am paid professional amateur Weirdo. boat driver. Well, we are no too. I'm just trying to put fillets in the grease for my family during this time of COVID-19 <laughs> crisis. If I didn't have it on video, you guys wouldn't believe me, but 
I was literally catching fish every cast for so long, my wife said, let's go home. This is ridiculous. I mean, how do you leave? You're catching fish, you don't leave. Yeah, mom. Look, you don't believe me? Check this out. Oh yeah. Those are mostly all from him. Let's hear you say that again, Houston. Those are all from you. Not all. Hey, one more Mostly. time. Not who caught the all. who caught the most fish today? Obviously the you. Oh, it hurts to say that, doesn't it? It does. Turn, 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 turn. Change of plans to a better idea. Instead of unloading the boat, or instead of loading the boat back up tonight, since we caught so many fish, we might as well come back and fish again tomorrow. And then if we loaded the boat, then we just have to unload it. So why not just park it here for the night, come back and fish tomorrow, huh, Houston? Yeah. Maybe you overfilled the bucket. Well, shouldn't have got the lively ones. No. I even said that. But you don't listen to me, do you? No. See? You're going to lose a fish. Jeez, man. Oh, I'm touching it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> I like cleaning fish on the dock. It's nice because you don't have all the cleanup. You just fillet them, chuck them right in the water, and the catfish will eat them. So we caught a lot of these white bass up in the creek. Some of them were up in this cove at the very back of the cove, but the majority of the fish we caught today were, were spawning, and they're actually in the creek that we live on, and they, they run up there to spawn. So some of these are females with eggs. Most of them are males, though. So I don't mind taking out all the males, which white bass... There's just millions of them in the lake here, so we're not hurting the population by having a nice fish brand. You knew we weren't going to go fish and catch all those sand bass, fillet them, and not have a nice fish fry out here on the patio with you guys. Um, we're just uh, trying to get everything set up. Emily's cleaning off the table. Got the fire pit fired up tested out the the, the uh, fish cooker made sure that was going we're gonna have to you know one thing i want to do and one thing i intended to do when we built this patio was to build an outdoor cooking area i just haven't had time to get to it we've got a drain and water plumbed in right there i wanted to build something where we could clean fish have an outdoor cooking area where we could have some fish fryers the grill set up all that all in one spot just haven't had time to do that yet and uh yeah so we do makeshift out here got the dutch oven ready to go got fixed to get the oil heated up and just wait, waiting wait. on a few family members to get here wait, so we can hey. have supper you mean by dutch oven you get it keeping it dutch no that has absolutely <laughs> nothing to do with that guy not this time well you you want to have some fish tonight too buddy yeah yeah i want to have some fish so I thought I had all the fish clean, but so I was at the house getting everything ready and Weston and Katie and Dusty and Marissa and everybody went to the creek to go catch a few more sand bass because I guess they were jealous because we caught them all. And uh, Katie comes marching back to the house with this. Look at that dinky little sand bass. No! Oh. No! <laughs> so what you're saying is you brought me back one little sand bass and a channel cat that you expect me to clean for you, right? Yes. I suspect you probably wanted to eat that. Yeah. All right, fine. <laughs> what is it, Gemma? You waiting on your fish? Huh? 
You want to be the first taste tester? I hired a substitute chef tonight. That's right. <laughs> That way if the fish get burned, it's not my fault. <laughs> these on. dogs, every time I turn around, there's a different dog standing here. All these smells. You just keep doing your thing. I'll, I'll pretend like I'm helping by running the camera. I'll, I'll just get okay. it taken care of for you. We don't run up. As long as I get to eat it. What do y'all do? Fried fish, more. buddy. Nothing. You know. Hey, do me a favor. Go in and tell them we need the french fries and the hush puppies. <gasps> french yeah. fries and hush puppies. You got it. Careful when you shake it, Dusty. Once upon a time, I decided to shake it. And, uh... <laughs> it wasn't sealed. <laughs> that was the last time. It was a bad day. <laughs> I'm sitting over there on the chair. Here, here, come over here and fix your plate. Somebody make uh, Chick-fil-A sauce? Yep. Yeah, me and Marissa. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hey, boy. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey what? Y'all grab a piece of fish. Let us know what it tastes like. Is right. it any good? Let me try it. Gotta get the crunch. Okay. Right. Here we go. Sam Bass, here we go. Oh! Really? Boy. Where were we in the middle of doing the taste What are you excited about? I don't know. Supper time. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all ready? Yeah. Let's go. 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 Think so? Mm hmm So we're trying something new. We tried this last time and it was amazing. My wife came up with a recipe for her own DIY homemade Chick-fil-A sauce and it is amazing on fish. Believe it or not. Oh. Let's see. It's amazing. <laughs> it's so good. I'll tell you. It was my DIY concoction. I ran out I'm not kidding. I ran out of cornmeal, so I had just a little bit of regular cornmeal. I had one package of fish fry mix that was some off-brand. I had some white cornmeal, which is not really yellow cornmeal like we use for batter. And I had some Jiffy cornbread mix. Don't tell your mom. There's a whole box of Jiffy cornbread <laughs> mix in there. <laughs> so it's just a concoction with some seasonings and hey, it turned out pretty good. And I'm telling you, the Chick-fil-A sauce. Uh, What'd they say when it goes in that? Mayonnaise, mustard, barbecue sauce? Dang good. Something else. Uh, <laughs> goes really good on fish. It's all good. You gonna cook your own catfish. No. Since you caught it and you made me clean it, especially for you. Where's that? Right here. Okay. Right here? That's it. Okay. Do I just stick Hold it in here? Hold that filet up. Look at the size of those filets. Awesome. The awesome. Size of that. Good old channel cat. Okay. So I just stick it in here? Yep. Stick them both in there. Stick them both in there. Roll them around in that. Shake them up. Shake them up. Shake them up. Shake them up. Like this? Shake it. Shake it. Oh. Shake it. Shake it. Shake it. Yeah. It's a, it's a Ziploc baggie. <laughs> Those things close at the top. They zip. <laughs> it's amazing. Okay. Don't like what my dad did once. Then zip. Hey, hey, hey. Look, look, look. Then zip the bag. <laughs> that, that, that. Yep, 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 yep. Now. Does that look pretty good? Looks pretty good. Oh. Be careful sitting in the grease. Okay. Easy. Just lay it in there. Let her go. That is substantially larger than our sand bass. Yeah. Just a little bit. Works woke up. Let's see. I'm gonna have butt sores after this quarantine's over. Yeah. What? Butt sores. <laughs> Why? Why? Why is your butt gonna be sore? You saying you haven't been doing anything the whole Those quarantine? Uh, she jumped. They're not that hot. Mmm. My fish tastes good. Oh, Is it edible? Mm-hmm. Three. Hit him. Hit that too. You help me. Where are you? Look at my phone. Just waiting on you to get your fish out of the grease. Oh, it's good. No, I don't know. See those catfish fillets. Ooh, yeah. Wish you could give me about 50 of those, Katie. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can go again. I'm scared that I'm going to drop it. Catch it on a yep. jig and a... Please don't drop it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you caught that big old channel cat on a jig. A, a crappie thing. jig. A little bitty crappie jig.
Whoop. Watch out for the waffle fry, <laughs> fry grease. He's a little hot. <laughs> we need a real fish basket. That's what we yeah, need. Yeah, it's a drop down. Coming in hot. <laughs> yes, yes, we're cooking waffle fries with our fish because the Chick fil A sauce is amazing. And you can't have Chick fil A without waffle fries. I want to try your catfish. Yeah. Okay, we can try on three. <laughs> on three. Oh, it's hot. Hey, that catfish is hot, Katie. <laughs> Ready? Yeah, just remember mm -hmm. that. Three. Mmm. <laughs> salty. Salty. <laughs> I am mm. salty. They were really good. You're yeah. welcome. Thanks. You know, there's there's probably a reason that that every town in the South has a catfish restaurant. Mm. You know, fried catfish. Mm-hmm. You don't That's see true. many sand bass restaurants. Hey. True. Sand although, bass was really hey, good although too. the city of Medill that got hit by a tornado the other day mm -hmm. sand has bass a sand bass festival. Mm -hmm. They do. But every them. city in the South has a fried <laughs> catfish <laughs> restaurant. Oh, you should have did that too on this one. <laughs> Thank you, Rob. Hey, what are y'all doing? If you come in here again yelling, I'm running through here, and you wake up this baby. Who's this? Hey, Marissa, who's that? Oh, uh, I think that's Brooks. Who's Brooks? <laughs> your cousin. My new baby cousin. Yeah. Who's her mama? I don't know. Who is her mama? We're not sure on her mama. No? It's Marissa. Is it? Hey, what did you say when you caught that catfish? I didn't say anything. I was speechless. Dusty came over there. Running. No, you no, no. You said, hey, you should start putting me on your YouTube channel. <laughs> okay. What do you think about that? <laughs> Dusty.